Hi everyone, welcome back to The Neighborhood. Last week we learned about how to shift our monkey mind to thoughts that are neutral or positive. This week we're gonna spend some time being mindful of how to solve a problem. We have problems that come up every day and hopefully most of them are small problems, but sometimes bigger problems come up. Sometimes we feel stuck and we don't know how to solve the problem or we do something trying to solve the problem and we make a small problem turn into a bigger problem. So today we're gonna to be mindful of how to solve a problem. For every situation, we can ask four questions. The first question is, how do you think the person feels? It might be how you feel and it might, might also be considering how the other person feels in the situation. And then we ask ourselves the question, what is the size of the problem? And then we rate the problem. Is it a small problem, medium-sized problem, or a big problem? And then we ask the question, well, what should I do and why? And then we think about what would that, is what we chose to do as a solution, did it make it better or worse? So let's go ahead and practice thinking about a situation and asking the questions. Stacy's class was getting ready to go outside for recess. Stacy's teacher told the students that they needed to put on their jackets since it was cold and windy outside. Her teacher instructed her to hurry up and get in line. Stacy accidentally put her jacket on upside down and she couldn't get the jacket zipped. Some other girls in the class started laughing at her upside down jacket. So how do you think Stacy feels? My guess is she probably feels embarrassed, maybe sad. Okay. And then we rate the problem. Is this a small problem, a medium problem, or a big problem? What do you think? My guess is it's probably a small problem. And then we ask ourselves the question, what should Stacy do? So one thing maybe she could do is yell at the girls and run to back to her desk, okay? And then we ask the question, does that make the situation better or worse? In that situation, it might make it worse. So what is something else that Stacy could try? Maybe she just says, wow, that was really embarrassing. And she takes her jacket off and she puts it on the right way. Do you think that would make the situation better or worse? Okay. So as you go through your week, practice asking yourself these four questions when a situation comes up and see how it goes. And hopefully you'll find yourself feeling more confident and better able to work through the problems that come up, come up throughout your day. Well, that is all for now from the neighborhood. Have a great week and we'll see you next time.